नेक्स्ट कंटिन्यूशनली एक्सिम पॉलिसी टू थौसंड द एक्सिम पॉलिसी विल बी देर इन द इयर आफ टू थौस एक्सिम मीन इम एक्सपोर्ट इंपोर्ट पॉलिसी टू थौसंड इट विल बी एनविसेजिंग दट टू पॉइंट विल बी देर फॉर द सेजेस वाट इज दट सेज यूनिट वुड बी एबल इंपोर्ट कैपिटल गुड्स एंड रा मेटीरियल एंड ड्यूटी फ्री इन दि सेज विच आर दूनिट आर देर दोर विल दो विल बी इंपोर्टिंग दि कैपिटल गुड्स मीन मिशनरी एंड आलो रा मेटीरियल इंपोर्टिंग दि रा मेटीरियल दो विल बी ड्यूटी इज फ्री देर देर इज नो पेमेंट आफ ड्यूटी टू दि गवर्नमेंट इट इज फ्री फॉर इंपोर्टिंग दि गुड्स दट इज अग्जिम policy 2000 will be envisaging that sage units will be freely importing the capital goods as well as the raw material and secondly sage units be deemed to foreign territory foreign territory not in indian place it is an outside place like that they are treated for the purpose of trade operation signed tariffs it is treated as other country activities like that only sage zone operating the units which are there in the sage those will be units will be treated as a foreign territory operation only for the trading and tariff so like that the exim policy also in saying these two points these are the sage objectives with this attracting the investment and development of nation also will be very very good while the sages will be perfectly done next finally benefits what are the benefits of say say is through what are the benefits are there the firstly employment generation just now i said with this age lot of business organizations are established in undeveloped areas so automatically that should be regional development will be done so in between here the lot of people are there surrounding villages those all will be getting the employment opportunities that is the first benefit with the sage employment generation will be there and secondly economic development while the getting the employment by the people automatically the livelihood will be very good in position so then automatically their economic development also will be there so some of the surplus money will be treated as saving converting as savings that will be investing in different different places and their livelihood also will be getting so with help of the employment employment through so an economic development also will be there that both will be done with a major benefit for the sage through and growth of labor incentive manufacturing disease in the sage itself what are the units are established those are will be labor oriented through only there is a machinery is using less labor using is more like that only they are designing the units in sage why the because why the because situation here so surrounding people how can they get the employment opportunity so that what are the units are there in the sage those will be labor oriented units only labor oriented industries only that is only the growth of labor incentive manufacturing industries in the sage itself so development of that one labor will get the employment opportunities and economic development also made balance of regional development just now i said here it is also another benefit through the sage what is the balance of development means in, in india itself we can say take it some of the areas are developed some of the areas are undeveloped so how can i undeveloped areas become developed for that this thought is very important sage sage zones may be especially nearest places of undeveloped areas then developed area i become developed and the poor area become now developed with the help of the sage then automatically this is also developed this is already developed then both will be balanced at all like that that is another benefit balanced regional development will be done with the help of the sage special economic zones and capacity building do the stronger capacity for the building who's the capacity building what are the industry units are there in sage those become ready to compete with the other industries like that they will be developing the capacity building stronger capacity they have and finally export performance why which are there in our surplus products in our india 
in our particular unit those will be perfectly exporting to the other countries where is which is better to export which country is better to export where we are getting more money with the uh, less risk like that situations properly you can understand it with the help of the sage and uh, comparing with that which is better you can follow that only that through performance will be succeed while exporting the surplus goods this is about the benefits of the sage what are the benefits employment generation will be done with the help of the sage and economic development also will be there for through the help of the sage as well as the growth of labor incentive industries only in that particular sage zones and balanced regional development also will be possible with that and capacity building also there and export to performance also there this is about the our chapter 8 internal trade now chapter 9 external trade we'll see next so here the special economic zone why it is established to attract the foreign or domestic investments with that our nation will be developed for that some of the zones also we are designed that is a free trade zone export processing zone free zone industrial parks free ports urban enterprise zones like that we are done at present functional zones right now how functioning zones are eight only there those are will be you can say maharashtra kerala gujarat tamil nadu telangana andhra pradesh west bengal and uttar pradesh now the sage objectives what are the objective why the uh, sage is established why there is an objective which type of objectives will be there firstly generation of the additional economic activities some of the activities only there it will be improving purpose sage is established sage zones are there promotion of export of goods and services for proper promotion of exporting the goods and services also that purpose of sage will be established when the sage is there the lot of units are established with that surplus products will be provided uh, produced those will be forward to the other countries promotion of investment from domestic and foreign resources need need of investment done that through domestic as well as the foreign through also creation of the employment opportunity will providing the employment to the public which are not able to get the jobs with this zone lot of industries will be units will be established in particular zones surrounding peoples will be get the job opportunity and development of infrastructure facility some of the other facilities also properly provided purpose sage is a objective and exim policy 2000 export import policy 2000 will be envisaging that regarding the sages sage units would be able to import the capital goods and raw material with free duty we can't pay the any duty and also sage units are be deemed as a foreign territory it is a separate place of uh, activities like that we have exim policy and the benefits employment will be developed economic also development and growth of labor incentive manufacturing industry and balanced regional development capacity building and export performance this is about the our internal trade chapter